right guys, I think we're done with paint. I've got the interior painted from the deck up to the gunnel and all the inside compartments. It's a semi-gloss, so it's not too flashy. All right, so the next step is to get this deck put on. But I'm gonna start down here in the cockpit sole. And the only thing tricky about this is that it's gonna be done in three pieces. One centerpiece and then the other side. And then the center is gonna be a removable hatch so I can get down into that drainage area and uh, service anything if I need to. So I can measure there, measure here, and get my length and I should be good to go. At least had some progress. All right, here's the last rivet for the back decking. Whew. All right, let me give you a quick tour. I've got the bulkhead finished up. I have all the decking down uh, except for hatches. So the only thing left to do on this is hatches. You can see the deck drain at the back corner over there. And these ports that I've already drilled out here, uh, this is the tube that goes to my bilge pump. That'll go to a through hole fitting right there. And here, another drain cover gets installed. Of course, all this will get uh, sealed in place once uh, I've got the, the deck covered up. And this is the spot for the anchor light fitting. Pretty happy. I really like the way the rivets look. They actually countersink themselves in. All these pieces of PVC, they're really not structural at all. They, all they're doing is bringing the deck up to the finished level. Uh, all this under it is solid. So uh, I don't have to worry that any of this is ever gonna move or sag in any way. The cockpit uh, floor is in. I've got the drains in. And then this is my center hatch for uh, accessing whatever. And I still got all this to do. So making progress, but still got a ways to go. All right, lots of leaves in here now and cockroaches, dang. But you can see I've got the pieces laid out for this center portion. Uh, and I've got everything kind of uh, spaced out so the hatches will fall and have a lip to land on. I gotta say I'm I'm really happy with the choice of going with half inch PVC for the deck. It really uh, is easier to work with than I thought it was gonna be. It cuts easy and uh, while it's a little more expensive 
it's going to be forever considering it's fastened down with aluminum rivets i don't have to worry about anything rusting i don't have to worry about anything rotting so okay so before we move on i need to get these fastened down where they are Mostly I've been doing rectangles and doing just a little bit of shaping on the sides. So now I'm getting into uh, sort of the curvature into the bow that's much more extreme. And so I'm going to have to take a piece of that construction paper laid up in here and hopefully get all these lines on it so I can uh, get this one cut out. All right, so what I end up doing is chamfering this corner right here like that. I'm just on the sander. I just grind that corner off, uh, get it to seat in there as far as it's going to go. Then I'll cut uh, behind this hinge and the length, and it should fit perfect. And then I'm just going to repeat that everywhere else. Uh, all right. So I got these little wacky corner pieces done. The other one's in too over there so before I move up to this area here this is where my seat is gonna go and the pedestal right so I've got to uh, mount the uh, plate of steel here a very thin plate of steel but it's meant to keep anything from shifting and moving and uh, that means I've got to get uh, a way to bolt the seat down to that plate of steel so let me show you what I'm gonna do Fit this, punch these, and drill some holes. All right, this is the last of the pilot holes. Now I need to drill the full size hole so I can get that rivet in here. All right, so this is what the rivet looks like. Uh, it's threaded on the inside. You can see it threaded in there. And the idea here is that this thing will slip into the hole and then has to be crimped. Now there's a special tool, just like a rivet gun that uh, threads into here and then pulls, and then this fluted section here crimps in and bites down on uh, the, uh, the metal. And I'm gonna have to do it with a sledgehammer. So. All right, those are all drilled. So now the trick is to put these rivets in here turn this over and then beat it into a crimp all right there it is all six of the nuts in place this thing's ready to get uh, put onto the boat It's always really satisfying to see something you designed months ago and has been sitting in my shed forever actually come together exactly how I uh, envisioned it. So that is rock solid. All right, so now I have this panel shaped and I'm ready to go down. I've also put the holes in uh, for the bolts for that seat pedestal. And I'm going to go ahead and drop a couple bolts in here just to hold it in place while I drill holes for the rivets themselves.
So, I got this panel in. I just need to cut the hole so the uh, seat pedal still can slide in. And I gotta clean up before this weather moves in. Uh, starting to feel the effects of Etta, the tropical storm coming up. Get these things out of here. Ready to rock. I don't want my little drain to be clogged before it even gets any use. All right, so <laughs> as you can see, the weather hasn't gotten any better. Uh, and actually, the tropical storm has turned into a hurricane and has decided to turn right and come straight at us. So I'm going to try to get what I can done uh, on the boat. My intention is to finish the deck. Uh, and then button it all down again. Uh, every time I come out here, uh, there's a new assortment of dead bugs. I sprayed the whole thing with uh, bug spray because I was getting some um, ants and stuff. So. so this is the pattern I used for this other side, and I, I can use it on this side too. I'm just gonna have to cut uh, the curvature and then cut all the other edges after I got this curvature. Alright, that's the last rivet, and I'm sure you guys are about fed up watching rivets. So, that is a good solid four deck. This is the pedestal base. Goes on there and gets bolted down. And all that I have left to do is that little triangle and these two triangles. And that's just going to be cutting and fitting and cutting and fitting. So, a bit boring and a bit tedious. So. I'll get back to you when all that's in and we'll talk a little. Got the deck done just in time it's starting to rain i've just got just enough time to pick up all my tools and cover the boat for this big storm coming so on the next video i should be able to get the hatches on and then we'll start talking about putting the uh, eva deck cover that should be pretty cool i'll see you on the next video